Hey guys, Kid Saul here, back at you with another What's Old video. It's for week 51 of 2023, so almost the end of the year. Starting out with one Amazon sale. I'll get to more in a second, but this anthology Garth Brooks book got this at the Peaches to Beaches yard sale uh, earlier this year, and it sold for $32 plus shipping. I think I paid like seven bucks for that, I think is what I paid. Poshmark, this North Face jacket or sweater, whatever you want to call it, sold for like $15 plus Poshmark shipping. $70 plus shipping for this New Orleans Voodoo. They used to be on a Reunion League football team. Last name was Bailey, number seven. Cool sale there. I've had that for a while as well. These Levi jeans sold for like $20. Poshmark sale, Funko Pop. <laughs> that sold for, I think it sold for like $20 plus shipping, so not much there. Uh, the best sale, $400 for this Elohobit Five Nights at Freddy's action figure. Not bad. Minnie Mouse Pom Pom sold for like 10 bucks, came out of a storage unit. The Smith & Wesson knife, I uh, don't remember exactly what it was. Deer, it's a deer knife according to this. It's new in the packaging, sold for like $20 on eBay. Got some Amazon sales going out, like I said. Muppet Gonzo, Superhero Gonzo, sold for like, I think it sold for 20 plus shipping. There's another one. And then I sold some Miss Piggies. She sold for 25 plus shipping, paid a dollar for each one of the Muppets. And then I got some more fudge reindeers going out for $35 each plus shipping. I got three. I think I might actually have four going out, but I got three to show y'all. Three fudge reindeers. Paid 65 cents each for those. Good profits there. Next up, this Windsor Castle, Department 56. You see Department 56? Picked them up. $189 plus shipping for this guy. And it's actually not going, I think it's going to Missouri, so it's not going too far away from me. I live in Louisiana. This great sacrilege book sold for $32 plus shipping. Good sale there. Got some PlayStation 1 games. These are both from the Highway Byway sales with Ken. Downed them, uh, it was like 12 o'clock, so somebody didn't pick them up for some reason, but I tested them, they did work. Gundam sold for $23 plus shipping, and then Star Wars Jedi Power Battle sold for like $10 plus shipping, so not too much for those, but still some profit. These little plushies, Halloween plushies, sold for like $10, I think with free shipping, so I shouldn't have bought those when I bought them, but I already had them, so I might as well go ahead and sell them. And then last but not least, these Star Wars figures, two. This one is one of them. I'm not going to pull out the other one because I don't want to break them too bad. <laughs> but it comes with a little minifigure. But these sold for $52 plus shipping. They're like TIE fight, uh, Star Wars TIE Fighters. And I think that's it for sales to start out the week. Not bad for the start to the week. Here are my sales for today. Not too many, but it's some at least. This little cat sold for $14 free shipping. Had it for a while, so I'm just glad to see it gone. 50 bucks for this Naruto headband set. It's a set of like four headbands. Came out of a storage unit, so it's free to me. So a fun sale, good sale there. This came from the Highway Byway sale. It's an iPad mini. Paid five bucks for it, sold for $50 plus shipping on eBay. The best sale is this little Kion plush, sold for $60 plus shipping. I paid eight bucks for this at CVS. Can't find it anymore. Wish I had more, this might be the last one, but still 60 bucks ain't bad for a little beanie boo. 22 bucks for this Lilo Tsum Tsum. It's like three and a half inches long, but still a cool sale. Epic Mickey Wii game. It's new in the packaging. Only sold for like 12 bucks, but uh, still sold. Virginia Cavalier cards sold for I think $24. I probably paid 20, so I'm not going to make any money on that, but it's getting rid of it. This set of books sold for like 20 to $25 is on Amazon. It's Bad Guys, The Bad Guys Bad Box, books one through five. So it's got all five of them in there. Should ship pretty easily via media mail. And then this Terra Fingerling toy. Uh, it's a dragon Terra. Uh, pay, probably paid a dollar. Sold for like $15 free shipping. And one more. Almost forgot. A Bina, the Squishmallow, sold for like $17 free shipping on eBay. And I probably paid 10 for it. So I'm not going to make much money there either. But I, at least I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> and that's it for sales for today. Here are the sales for today. Starting now with eBay. And starting out with probably the best sale. These Dan Post boots sold for like their min i think it was mignon color i am m-i-g-n-o-n -M -N, min minion Mon mignon however you say that these sold for like 60 dollars plus shipping kermit on amazon sold for 35 dollars plus shipping and paid a dollar for him at walmart i don't remember how much i paid for the boots uh i paid something for the boots not much though this free to me at this point came from pittsburgh uh, i bought it a long time ago when they used to, when he used to do auctions uh sold for like 12 bucks or 10 bucks free shipping so really not much money there Two clothing items, this Peter Millar shirt 
sold for $20 plus shipping, and this Chevrolet sweater sold for $25 plus shipping, brand jerseys. I don't know where I got this, but I didn't pay much for it. Moving on to, or actually one more eBay, 12 bucks plus shipping for this one little American Girl doll dress. Really cool sale for one little dress. Moving on to Mercari, four sales on Mercari. Inch the Inchworm sold for $12 free ship. All these are free shipping. Eeyore sold for $10 free shipping. Uh, Candy Combo Cutie Car sold for $39 free shipping. And then last but not least, this Beer Belly Fanny Pack. I didn't think I had any more listed on eBay or Mercari, but this one is still listed on Mercari. Luckily, I was able to find one. I still have, I probably have three or four lists left in my inventory. I just don't know where they are. Luckily, I knew where this one was. Um, but yeah. $17 free shipping on that. Paid $2 at Walmart probably two or three years ago. This is probably my white elephant gag gift. I use it anytime I have a garage sale, I use mine. It's kind of funny to get reactions out of people at the garage sale. But yeah, that's it for sales for today. Here are my sales for today. Starting now with clothing. First up, this LSU shirt. It's a fem girl, little girl shirt, I think. LSU Tigers, at least I think that's what it was. Sold for like $15 free shipping. Another American Girl dress going out for like $15 plus shipping. I'm not sure. All of a sudden they're selling. I guess it's Christmas time people want these outfits. But yeah, it's pink floral. It's an older dress as well, so maybe that's why. This Auburn shirt sold for like $20, I think, plus shipping. I've had this for a while. It was only listed on eBay, so it means I've had it for a really long time because it was never cross-posted. Feisty Pets. It's a happy bear, and it's a mad bear. Rawr. <laughs> this guy sold for like eight bucks plus shipping, so not really much there, but it did sell. These little PVC figures are Teen Titans. These came from the Abita Springs yard sale. I probably paid 15 bucks for a huge tote of toys. These sold for $15 plus shipping. The two Amazon sales, Sunny the Cocoa Puffs Bird paid five, sold for like 25 plus ship. Kermit paid a dollar, sold for 35 plus ship. These are selling really well. I need to get I need to get them all sold, but I don't want to undercut the price, so I gotta wait for them to sell. Garfield sold for like five. He'd be worth more if he didn't have damage, but he does have damage. The sunglasses have come off, but he still sold for like five bucks plus shipping. Uh, I think I probably paid fifty cents to a dollar for him. I was sad to see this one go. Light Fury Pillow Pet. She sold for thirty five dollars free shipping, but I don't think she's going too far away. Uh, she probably weighs a little bit over a pound, but still a good sale there. One of the fun sales, one of my funnest sales so far, is that a word, funnest? I don't think. One of my more fun sales, this Gilbert Rugby Ball sold for $60, I think, free shipping. It's a Samoa Rugby Union. So, yeah, it's going to, actually, it's going to Sitka, Alaska. If you'll get that reference, you watched the movie The Proposal. <laughs> but, yeah, Sitka, Alaska is where this thing's going. Another good, another good sale, this Beyblades Burst 2-pack. Val Valtrek and Sprizen. I think that's how you say those words. I don't know for sure. This sold for $60 as well. So a good pickup for, I think, 5 bucks or so. This troll, my last knife form troll, I think, sold for $25. Finally got around it. Finally sold. Took forever. I sold the... If y'all remember, all those other ones sold really well. This one took a little bit longer to sell. Next up, this Zippo lighter. It's got Winston on it from NASCAR Winston Cup. It's like a... It's a special edition one, I think, uh, from 1992. 32 to 92. This thing sold for $35 plus shipping. Harley Davidson patch. This was part of the Kenver first time I was on Ken vs. Tenet. Finally sold. This thing sold for $50 plus shipping. So another good sale. Uh, this dress. This B Bell Soy. B-E-L-S-O-I-E. -E, Bell Soy. I don't know how you say the brand. But it sold for like $20 plus shipping. Came out of a storage unit, so it's free to me at this point. And last but not least for today, this Obi, not Obi Wan, <laughs> Mace Windu light up minifigure. You can see his uh, lightsaber lights up. Cool find there. This came in a big Lego buy I made probably three or four years ago. My dad actually helped me clear it out. The guy was selling all of his Lego or selling the Lego of the person who he was renting. He was renting this house out to somebody and they never paid the rent. So he just went in and took the whole Lego collection and just put it on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid $950 for all the Lego. I've easily made two or three grand off of that. So yeah, definitely a good find. I got lucky. He said a ton of people were message, messaging him about it and he went with me for some reason. Not sure why, but I'm happy he did. But yeah, $60 plus shipping for this Mace Windu Lego minifigure. Here are my sales for today. Getting down to the last couple weeks of the year now, as you all saw when I said it was a week 51 video. 
Amazon sales, Jack's going 10 for like 20 plus ship and this Barilla plush. I got this, I don't know where I got it exactly, but I probably paid $2, sold for like eight plus shipping. So I'm not making too much, but I'm making something out of that. A Mercari sale. Mercari actually has the best sale for today. Not this, so this Napa Valley vest sold for $22 on Mercari. The best sale, if y'all watched the most recent video, one of the most recent video, storage videos, this Canon camera. This, along with some other accessories, sold for $300. And I tested it and it did work. Luckily it worked, I was glad it worked. <laughs> I had the battery, had the charger, everything. Canon DS126621 camera. It also came with a couple memory cards and an extra big lens right here. So yeah, the big lens, sometimes the lenses can be worth some pretty good money. So $300 plus like, <coughs> actually that was $300 free shipping on Macari. I had to list it at 302, they offered 300. I accepted that offer, obviously, because it's only $2 under the asking price. So they did have 27 reviews. So I made sure I checked and checked the reviews because I was like, that's a little, you'd think someone would offer a little bit less than that if they're going to offer something. But this Ralph Lauren Big Pony shirt came out of a storage unit, I believe. Sold for like $32, I think, something like that. Some squeezables for $20. These haven't been paid for yet. I paid a dollar each for those, so I'm $6 in, and they sold for $20, so not bad. I'm not going to pick it up, but I have this Linux birdhouse that I picked up with Ken, SSK Promo, and Jill. And that thing sold for $50, bucks, I think, plus shipping. It's not going to be fun to ship because, oh, I guess I can show you. It's like these little tiny birdhouses, and it's a big display to go with them. And I did disclose that some of them do have broken pieces to them, and I showed those in the pictures. This one does not, so this one's in good condition, but i got to make sure I wrap Bubble wrap those. They're going to have to go in a bigger box than what they're currently in, but I think I can ship them pretty easily if I can find the right box at least. Charter Club Woman shirt, vest, I guess another vest. Yeah, sold for like 15. I think that came out of a storage unit. Got two mouthpieces going out. These sold for $35. These came, I think they came in like whenever I bought a trumpet one time. I already I think I already sold the trumpet, but I sold the mouthpieces separately. I sold one mouthpiece with the trumpet, and the other two I sold separately because I thought they were worth more, but still 35 bucks for those. Uh, probably paid less than that for the trumpet. Avon All Dressed Up. I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. I probably should not have gotten it. It really wasn't worth that much, but they're like little Avon. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but sold for like 8 bucks plus shipping, so I am making some money there at least. Next up, Cousin Eddie Kane's plush. If you find this one, definitely pick it up. Not all Kane's plush are worth a good amount of money, but this one with still, I mean, it's not new with tags, but it does have the tag with it. it sold for like $70. I sold like two or three of these last year. I got them for two bucks at a garage sale of a fellow, I guess fellow reseller. She does like more flea market stuff. She has a booth, I think somewhere in the Baton Rouge area, but yeah, got that. Sold for 70 bucks, not bad. Damien sold for 50 on Mercari. Damien Squishmallow probably paid... Uh, I think it's still twelve ninety nine, but I think I got him clearance down for like two or three dollars at some point. Next up is these Clark's shoes. These are free from my mom. Sold for twenty six. With can't remember if it's plus shipping or free shipping. Either way, it's free to me, so I'll make money on it. Tony Oliva, Oliva. I don't know who that is, but he played for the Twins. It looks like uh, this sold for like twenty six dollars. Free sh or I think that's plus shipping. This Lego set right here, it's a pirate ship Lego, and that's what it's supposed to look like. It doesn't have all the pieces. I advertised it as not complete, but yeah, all the pieces that are in here will be shipped. Sold for like $58 plus shipping, so that's another good sale. Uh, last but not least, I think this is the last sale. This Dunbrook jacket that says Uncle Bud's Catfish on it. Uncle Bud's Catfish Chicken and such. This sold for $50 plus shipping as well came out of a storage unit. I didn't think it had much value, but when I looked up Dunbrook, um, it actually had decent sales, even for something that's already embroidered with some random company that no one really, probably no one cares about. Maybe they actually knew Uncle Buck. I don't know, or Uncle Bud. Uh, either way, that's it for sales for today. I'll have a Saturday video, and that'll be the end of the what solds for this week, since I won't have many for next week, because I'll be going to Gatlinburg in North Carolina after that. But yeah, one more clip for this week. Here are my sales for today. Few and far. I only got five sales going out, three of them being Amazon. This took a while to find, but I did eventually find it. This an introduction to contract drafting, second edition. This book, it's tiny. It's not very big at all. It's like uh, half an inch wide, probably. Uh, sold for $14 plus shipping. Came out of a storage unit from that big storage unit. From that video where I put five storage units in one video, this one came out of that. Came out of the Florida Boulevard unit. So that one's making up a little bit of ground. 
Uh, next up, this Mermaid Hello Kitty sold for $30 plus shipping. I paid $11 for her at Walmart. I'll take that off before shipping. And Vlad also sold for around $30 plus shipping. I probably paid $6.99, I think is what I paid for him. I took his little tab off already, so I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure they were $6.99. Uh, moving on to eBay, sold some more Lego minifigures. Love selling these little things. $40 for these. They are from the franchise Batman. Uh, Alfred Pennyworth, I think that's who this guy is, the butler. And then, of course, you got to have, if you're selling a Batman lot, you got to have a Batman in there. <laughs> so those sold for $40. Uh, I think it's including shipping, $40. But either way, a good sale there. And last but not least, this colorful dress. The brand is Win Win. Never heard of that brand. Uh, this came out of a storage unit, obviously, because I wouldn't sell women. I rarely ever pick up women's women's clothing at Goodwill. Uh, the only time I sell women's clothing is whenever I get them in storage units. So yeah, that's it for sales for today, and that's the end of this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite sale. Mine's either going to be that camera that sold for three hundred or the action figure that sold for four hundred. Both of those are really good sales. And uh, subscribe now, subscribed. Thanks for watching.